Farms have taken center stage in public conversation and now they're set to make an appearance before the Supreme Court. One America's Dana Alexa breaks down those upcoming cases. As one term closes, another one opens. The Supreme Court is set to start its new wave of cases addressing Second Amendment matters for the first time since 2010. The upcoming cases come in the wake of a series of mass shootings which claim the lives of 34 people combined, prompting a call for action by many Americans. We don't have to live like this. There are meaningful actions that we can all take to stop gun violence in this country. We've heard politicians send their thoughts and prayers while failing to act. We are done with that. While politicians are yet to announce any action, the Supreme Court has. The first suit, New York State Rifle and Pistol Association versus the city of New York, involves an ordinance that placed strict limitations on transporting handguns outside of city limits. The challenge was filed by gun advocates in the state, arguing it violates the Second Amendment and the Commerce Clause. The lower courts rejected the argument, saying it is reasonably related to the city's interest in public safety and crime prevention. New York has some of the strictest gun laws in the country, which remain deeply unpopular with many gun owners and gun rights advocates. Earlier this year, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo signed an expanded waiting period into law known as the Safe Storage Bill that was deemed as an extreme measure for gun owners. Gun safety laws can exist without the jeopardized or dreaded fear of a slippery slope. Really, they're trying to take away our guns. Nobody's trying to take away, uh, away guns from legal people who are mentally healthy. However, gun rights supporters said it was another unnecessary law that won't save lives. Another case follows a New Jersey requirement for those seeking a permit to carry guns outside the home, saying they must first demonstrate a justifiable need. One problem, however, is these laws from liberal states will now be reviewed by a conservative majority court. And so in the Second Amendment context, the Supreme Court in the Heller decision, uh, written by Justice Scalia, had held that there was an individual right to keep and bear arms. As a result, New York has already tried to address the disputed law within the state in order to receive a more favorable outcome than one delivered from a conservative bench. The Supreme Court will consider dismissing the case on October 1st, one week before the new term begins. Dana Alexa, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.